Hey guys, my name is Mark Dressen, you're watching MDTV, and in this video I'm going to talk about hormones, especially the hormone insulin and how that affects your weight loss and how it blocks fat burning and all that stuff. It's a bit more educational, meaning it's going to be PowerPoint presentations, me talking over it, but it's very educational and it's one of these uh, series is if you haven't seen the first one then you know click somewhere here it's about all about nutrients if that's something you want to know about and I guess we're gonna start in three two one I'll be discussing how the food you eat trigger hormones which have a direct impact on your blood sugar levels and why you need to know about this what are hormones and why is it important for you to know about them? Hormones are chemical messengers which are secreted into the blood in one part of the body and then deliver a message to another part of your body. They are produced by glands and they get their instructions from your brain. Here's a simple example. Let's think of your glands as a mobile phone and the brain is typing the message. Then we hit the send button and the message is received by another cell in your body. Now the cell knows what to do. Hormones control so many things, including how fast is your heartbeat, when and how you sleep, your body temperature, whether you're fat or thin. Wait, did you just say fat or thin? <laughs> yes, I did, and I'm glad you noticed it. There's one particular hormone I want you to know about, and that is insulin. Why? Let me show you. What is insulin? Insulin is a hormone which lowers the level of glucose or sugar in your blood. So far, so good? Now, there are of course many more hormones in your system, but in order for you to lose weight, I think it is crucial to understand the function of insulin. Okay, I'll make it very simple. Every time your blood sugar is too high, insulin is released and will carry the glucose directly into your cell. Well, that's great if you need the energy right now, but what if you don't? Right, it will store it for later and guess as what? Fat, body fat. Now comes the really important bit I want you to understand. Are you ready? High amounts of insulin block the body's ability to burn fat. Yes, you heard it right, it blocks fat burning. Why? Well, it's quite logical. When you've just eaten some food that made your blood sugar rise means your body actually has enough energy and does not need to break down additional body fat for energy. It is that simple. Eating trigger carbs leads to more insulin in the blood, which blocks fat burning and leads to storing excess blood sugar as body fat. Your body switches from burning into storing mode as soon as you start eating lots of starchy carbohydrates or trigger carbs. So how does this help you? Well, let's have a look at which foods actually trigger your blood sugar to rise. Remember in part one, where we discussed essential nutrients? Blood sugar is only affected by the amount and especially the type of carbohydrates we eat. So let me show you what that means. Here's a chart that shows you how our blood sugar rises and falls over a period of time. We have a normal range where our body is able to burn fat and this is the green section. Then there's the top red section which means your blood sugar is too high and this is where your body releases insulin and blocks your fat burning abilities. At the bottom red section this is the area where the blood sugar is too low. This is when you normally are starting to crave foods. Why? Because your body is lacking in energy and this is the time when you normally grab a chocolate bar or a can of coke. Now, the red graph shows you how our body reacts to the type of carbohydrates that are easily digested and absorbed. I'll call them trigger carbs, such as most processed foods like pasta, white bread and white table sugar. These will produce a rapid increase in your blood sugar level and fall under the normal range as quickly. The green graph shows you how our body reacts to the type of carbohydrates that do not trigger too much insulin and are the foods I was eating in order to lose weight. These carbohydrates are taking longer to be digested and are high in fiber, water and protein, such as non starchy vegetables. Remember those which are mostly green and grow above the soil? Let's have a closer look at trigger carbs and non-starchy vegetables. In short, trigger carbs are the type of carbohydrates which spike your blood sugar level and release lots of insulin. This results in storing body fat and at the same time blocking the body's ability to burn fat. Compared to the non-starchy vegetables, these are the type of carbohydrates which are high in fiber, water and protein and keep your blood sugar level balanced. 
This also gives the body the ability to use the stored body fat as energy. Examples of trigger carbs are potatoes, grains such as wheat and rice, as well as the products that are made of the processed grains, like bread, pasta and cereal, or in general, almost all highly refined and processed foods. Examples of non-starchy vegetables are most green leafy vegetables such as kale, spinach, broccoli and cabbage, but there are many more. So now you know why the quality of the food is so important in order to lose weight and be healthy. Okay, so I hope you learned something and you know a bit more about hormones and insulin and what kind of carbohydrates you should be eating and how they trigger your insulin response, which then leads to blocking your fat burning ability and all that stuff. You know that now, you're an expert. And um, yeah, if so, you know, punch the like button right now. As well, if you think this information would be beneficial for any of your friends, feel free to share this video. As well, if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do that now because then you get this stuff straight into your inbox. As well, I made a video on the six essential nutrients. So if you're interested in that stuff here on the side somewhere, you just click on that video. It takes you straight there into another round of education, which is very important. Now, um, yeah, what else? It was awkward, right? Don't know what to talk about. But anyway, you know what to do. I'll see you next one.